condiments. You know those half-filled bottles lining your fridge door that you refuse to throw away? Now let's talk about them. Simple as they seem, homemade condiments, not that easy to make. Ketchup. In my opinion, it's always better store-bought. I haven't had a homemade ketchup that can stand up to Heinz like ever. There's mayonnaise, the most polarizing of all condiments. It's quick and easy to make. I mean, all you need is just eggs and mustard and oil. But despite ease, I'm still curious on whether it beats out the store-bought version. Price, taste, compare. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of store-bought versus homemade. Since this is already done, we'll put it to the side. Obviously, it may not be worth it for you to whisk all this by hand. So we're gonna use our little friend here, the blender. So, let's make some mayonnaise. For this recipe, we're gonna do a one to one to one. One egg to one tablespoon Dijon to one tablespoon vinegar to one cup of oil. We're gonna use a whole egg. I know some people like to use egg yolks. So, whole egg goes in. And we're gonna start working that. And we got one tablespoon of vinegar going in. And one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now to this, so it doesn't break, we're gonna slowly add in the oil. Overloading it too fast will cause it to break and just turn liquid. A dash of salt. And there we have it. So there's our mayonnaise. Two minutes and 15 seconds to make at home. All right, homemade versus store-bought. This store-bought is around $4.50 which puts it around 15 cents an ounce. Now, this with one egg being at $4 a dozen, it's about 33 cents an egg. The oil is sitting around 12 cents an ounce. The Dijon mustard that we used is sitting around $1.37 an ounce. And the vinegar that we used is around 25 cents an ounce. So to put this all together, homemade is around 17 cents an ounce. Store-bought is around 15 cents an ounce. So a two cent difference between homemade and store-bought. But let's test them. Nice acidity, good salt. I mean, that is a classic mayonnaise. You really, it's hard to get there with something like this, but let's taste it. There's the acidity in here, there's good salt content in here, and it's a large volume. This is gonna have a lot more staying power in your fridge and at two cents an ounce more, less staying power, a little bit more flavorful, but pretty close. You know, I, I, I totally thought the homemade would win just the hands down, like no question. But after considering how close the taste is and the bigger thing being like the actual shelf life of store-bought, I, I, I really, really hate to admit it, but store-bought wins. For more store-bought versus homemade, or to see if those unitaskers are worth their salt, click here. And we're gonna wait until the green light comes on. We have our ingredients here, which is an English muffin, a piece of American cheese, an egg, and then some Canadian bacon. Been about a minute, 